Hello students, welcome back again. In this part, we will discuss about Lenz law and its application as conversion of mechanical energy into electric energy. Then, we will discuss about the drawbacks of Lenz law as eddy currents concept. Then, we will discuss about the application involved with the eddy currents and then self-inductions. And the best example of self-induction, finding self-induction of a solenoid. So, let's start this. Let's discuss about Lenz law. In case of Lenz law, we will discuss about law of conservation of energy. So, the statement is about the principle stated that an electric current induced by a source such as changing magnetic field always creates a counter force opposing tendency force with the, with the force that magnet is induced in it. Or we can say the law accounts for such phenomena as diamagnetism and electrical properties of inductors. So we can assume there is a magnet having two pole, north pole and south pole that brings into the coil connected across the galvanometer. So when we are bringing magnet, the movement is against the repulsion. So that repulsion is just due to the Lenz law. It, it predicts the concept of Lenz law. So when you take magnet away from the coil, that repulsion is just reduced. So this is associated with the induced current produced in the secondary coil due to the induced EMF would be of opposing tendency that creates it. That is created by the relative motion of the external coil or external magnet when this strength is passing through the area of the secondary coil. So and its nature would be of opposing tendency. This is under Lenz law. Now the second statement and the examples we can consider here that Lenz law stated that induced current always opposes the flux that creates it. I mean you can see this is an external magnet and there is a current carrying coil. It is like a solenoid. Solenoid is like <coughs> when wire is wrapped over a material then lines of force passing through the core just it can just behave like a solenoid so when we bring magnet towards this coil what happens the deflection produced or reflect by the galvanometer will be according to the relative motion of the coil secondary when this you when we are taking magnet away from the coil the strength of the magnetic induced emf is just decreased Similarly, when we are taking or when we change the polarity, we found the same counter effect. So the point is that this EMF E is due to the change of magnetic flux with respect to time C. Already we discussed that electric current or induced current in the coil is just due to the EMF and that EMF is due to the change in magnetic flux. Also the number of turns, means you can see the coil having n number of turns across which current uh, across which the magnetic lines of force is passing and due to the relative motion it shows electric current so point is that the nature i means the symbol i this symbol i symbol negative symbol this is what opposing tendency opposing tendency so mean we can say i is the induced current in the coil due to the change in magnetic flux in the secondary coil when we bring magnet towards it or taking it away taking magnet away from the coil so this is of this would be of opposing tendency now what are the applications 